Cigarette smoking is responsible for more than 480,000 deaths per year in the United States, including more than 41,000 deaths resulting from secondhand smoke exposure. Commonly associated with cigarettes and smoking, tobacco has unexpected beneficial properties. Thank you for joining us today as we talk about how we can repurpose the tobacco crop for other purposes than smoking. I'm Isha. I'm Maron. I'm Jacob. Andrew. And I'm Tommy. We're all in the 11th grade at Village. Due to the prevalence of teenage and adult tobacco use, along with the adverse effects of the pandemic, we were inspired to develop two innovative ideas related to tobacco allocation. First, we present to you Toba Mass. From the end of 2019, mankind experienced one of the worst global disease outbreaks in all of human history. Even after the vaccine, the world continues to take sanitary precautions such as masks, which are seen everywhere one goes. Meanwhile, the tobacco industry also is going through a radical change. Many countries and organizations around the world hope to alter the tobacco industry to a point where it no longer relies on harmful, cancer-causing products as its primary source of revenue. Our product is the emerging lane for these two issues, and through the assistance of the Conrad Challenge, we hope to turn this concept into a reality. Our team presents Toba Mask. Meet Toba Mask, a unique take on the surgical mask that the world has come to know over these past few months. The tobacco industry is in dire need of a sustainable competitor, and Toba Mask is more than up to the task. However, the challenges posed by land waste and environmental damage are great. According to an article published by Bull World Health Organization, in 2011, around 4 million and 200 hectares of land were devoted to tobacco growing, representing less than 1% of total arable land globally. However, in several low and middle income countries, the percentage of arable land devoted to tobacco growing has recently increased. For example, it has almost doubled in China, Malawa, and the United Republic of Tanzania since the 1960s. Deforestation for tobacco growing has many serious environmental consequences, including loss of biodiversity, soil erosion and degradation, water pollution, and increases in atmospheric carbon dioxide. In 1995, it was estimated that global tobacco manufacturing produced over 2 million tons of solid waste, 300,000 tons of non-recyclable nicotine-containing waste, and 200,000 tons of chemical waste. If annual cigarette production had remained constant for the past 20 years, output has actually increased from 5 to 6.3 trillion cigarettes annually. Tobacco factories would have deposited a total of 45 million tons of solid waste, 6 million tons of nicotine waste, and almost 4 million tons of of chemical waste during this time, other toxic byproducts of tobacco manufacturing or chemicals used in manufacturing, including ammonia. The process of extracting tobacco byproducts and converting them into eco-friendly, medical-grade masks is relatively straightforward. The main goal of this existing technology is to convert cellulose extracted from tobacco plants to textile fiber. Using percolation and condensation, we are able to extract non-woven fabric from the plant. This process first requires a spinning dope where a mixture of ionic liquid and extracted cellulose is combined. When the cellulose dissolves, it then goes through a filtration process and a continuous spinning process. This extracts a multi-filament bundle from the tobacco plant material and then goes through an important process of carding, effectively combining the bundles into a rigor fiber. Then the fibers from the tobacco are run through a fabric opener blended with cotton and a non-woven fabric is formed. Finally, the fabric is dyed and ready for elastic bands to be tied to the sides. The function of Toba mask is relatively straightforward. There are different types of masks with surgical masks and other common types like the N95. Toba Care is a surgical mask with a twist on the fiber design and type that maintains the highest standard in terms of customer safety. Surgical face masks as a whole are made with non-woven fabric which has better bacterial filtration and air permeability while remaining less slippery than woven cloth. The material most commonly used to make them is polypropylene, either 20 or 25 grams per square meter in density. Surgical masks, on the other hand, are made up of multi-layered structures, generally by covering a layer of textile with non-woven bonded fabric on both sides. Non-wovens, which are cheaper to make and cleaner thanks to the disposable nature, are made with three or four layers. 
These disposable masks are often made with two filtered layers effective at filtering out particles such as bacteria above one micron. The filtration level of a mask, however, depends on the fiber, the way it's manufactured, the web structure, and the fiber's cross-sectional shapes. All of these factors of surgical masks make Toba Mask a safe and effective product and adhere to state and county mask mandates and safety requirements. Here is a prototype of Toba Mask. It's biodegradable, recyclable, and eco-friendly. It's made of non-woven fabric, and it is the best for environment and repurposing of tobacco. The primary market which Toba Mask is trying to reach is the sanitation market through a tobacco-derived face mask. Toba Mask is suitable for the sanitation market due to the fact that masks in themselves are forms of sanitary precautions. In addition, masks are complements to other products in the sanitation industry, such as hand sanitizers or face shields meaning that there is an overlapping audience we can reach out to. The sanitation market overall is not a very competitive market to enter, simply because a majority of the consumers do not purchase products based on non-price factors. Furthermore, the mask market size is significantly larger and is growing meteorically. In order to gather funding for Toba Mask, we'll mainly be looking at two possible avenues of investment, government research development grants and corporate social responsibility funds. Specifically, the National Institute of Health has a program funding tobacco research called the Tobacco Regulatory Science Program, which we would ideally fit into. The primary reason as to why I plan on getting government grants from the research development sector is because Toba Mask has positive externalities of production as well as positive externalities of consumption. Because of these external benefits to society, the government has incentives to subsidize and fund Toba Mask. The second primary avenue of funding we are looking towards is Corporate Social Responsibility Funding, or CSRs. The reasoning behind CSRs is so that the public can ensure that companies preserve integrity. Toba Mask is a perfect example of a company that would be a candidate for CSR funding since it bears positive externalities. Specifically, Toba Mask would likely attract CSR funding from the pharmaceutical industry and the tobacco industry. Altogether, the future of surgical masks in the tobacco industry is Toba Mask. With guaranteed safety and a completely biodegradable design, Toba Mask is sure to attract an extensive audience. These features, coupled with the positive externalities of production slash consumption, makes Toba Mask an innovative and inviting product to investors. Through the assistance of the Conrad Challenge, we hope to turn our product into a reality. Through thorough research, we have determined that the market at this time is perfect. We truly believe in the promising aspect of Toba Mask, and we're ready to make change starting from our community. Thank you for watching and listening to our presentation on Toba Mask. Next, we'll present to you our second product, Toba Care. The CDC says that tobacco use is the leading cause of preventable disease, disability, and death in the United States. Nearly 40 million U.S. adults still smoke cigarettes, and about 4.7 million middle and high school students use at least one tobacco product, including e-cigarettes. Every day, about 1,600 U.S. youth younger than 18 years smokes their first cigarette. Each year, nearly half a million Americans die prematurely of smoking or exposure to secondhand smoke. Another 16 million live with a serious illness caused by smoking. Each year, the United States spends nearly $170 billion on medical care to treat smoking-related disease in adults. Many focus on the detriments of smoking in terms of body count. But what isn't commonly recognized is the detriment of smoking on the skin. To quote the U.S. National Library of Medicine, it is shown that cigarette smoking increases many symptoms associated with the aging process, including skin symptoms and induces premature aging of the skin. Some chronic dermatoses, such as contact and atopic dermatitis, psoriasis, and cutaneous lupus erythematosus, have shown an association with cigarette smoking. Though not widely recognized, tobacco plants can bear an unexpected fruit. Though not fully documented, tobacco leaves are touted to have an anti-wrinkle property stemming from their leaf extract. Our product Tobacare is a natural plant-based serum designed to repair collagen and combat aging. Our tobacco protein-based serum can be utilized to combat both the effects of everyday aging as well as the diminished collagen levels caused by smoking. Tobacare is a unique in combination of ingredients including tobacco proteins, Prisicaria minus, and hyaluronic acid makes our concept different from existing businesses. The proteins primarily derived from the tobacco plant are serotonin-1 and serotonin-6. These proteins specialize in creating collagen and stabilizing the synthesization process. These factors are crucial in the anti-aging cosmetics industry. 
Furthermore, Tobacare's serum contains an extract of Chrysocaria minus, a smart weed with extremely beneficial antioxidant properties. This augments the effectiveness of our product and guarantees that users will be satisfied with their results. Tobacare also contains the following ingredients, glycerin, urea, mineral oil, and petrolatum. Overall, Tobacare's blend of ingredients differentiates our product from others on the market. The function of Tobacare is rather simple to explain given its ingredients. The tobacco extract and small smartweed will be key ingredients in a serum designed to remove the effects of smoking on the skin. Several alternative treatments exist, but none are specifically tailored to former smokers, nor do they use the combination of ingredients that can be found in Tobacare. The reduction of free radicals in the skin and reduction of sagging skin are the desired outcomes of our serum, which is designed to be applied specifically and directly to the face. Moisturizing the skin is paramount as smoking leads to skin dehydration and elimination of the properties of skin that keep our skin tight to our face and reduce wrinkles. Tobacare's design is a step in a different direction from the rest of the skincare industry with a larger plant-based product designed with the core idea of sustainability in mind. Marketed as a facial serum, Tobacare targets areas of skin aging particularly around the eyes and mouth and rejuvenate and moisturize skin surrounding the entirety of the face to provide a fresher image. Our concept best fits in two industries, the cosmetic industry and the tobacco industry. The cosmetic industry includes products that are made for beautification and improvement such as skin care, hair care, makeup, perfumes, toiletries, deodorants, and oral cosmetics. In 2018, the US cosmetic market generated approximately $89.5 billion in revenue. In addition, the global market size for anti-wrinkle products was valued at over $20.25 billion in 2018 and is expected to experience a compound annual growth rate of 5.7% to 2025. A large factor contributing to the cosmetic industry boom is the skincare products, which constitutes over 40% of the cosmetic market. For this reason, Toba Care is a perfect addition to this industry. In addition to tobacco farmers, it primarily is involved selling tobacco products in form of cigarettes. Smoking cigarettes is extremely detrimental to a user's health. However, if there is no alternative form in which the farmers who supply the tobacco can be given to a consumer, eradicating cigarettes would project negatively on the tobacco industry. Many jobs would be lost as a result. Therefore, our product will ensure that the tobacco industry will continue to prosper as the products made from tobacco would be beneficial to the general public and provide no unnecessary externalities. In order to gather the funding to create Tobacare, we will be looking at multiple avenues of investment, but the two primary ones will be government research development grants and venture capitalists. The NIH, National Institute of Health, has a program called TRSP, Tobacco Regulatory Science Program, which focuses on the manufacture, marketing, and distribution of tobacco products in order to protect public health. Tobacare would be a solid candidate for funding in this program due to the fact that it is a non-smoking tobacco product and through producing it, public health is being protected since the resources could have been used to manufacture a smoking product. Due to this, there is a positive externality of production for the Tobacare, meaning that the government has incentive to increase production of our product since there is an added social benefit tied into it. The second proposed avenue of funding for Tobacare is through venture capitalists. The most basic foundation of venture capitalism is the practice of investing into a small, high potential company in exchange for equity. Tobacare is the perfect example of a company desired by venture capitalists due to the fact that it will start off as a small corporation and has high potential. Overall, a mixture between government research development grants and venture capitalists would be an optimal primary source of funding for Tobacare as the company has a strong appeal to both avenues of investment. Providing hope to those suffering from the effects of smoking is just as important a facet of Tobacare as providing relief. Eliminating the ugly truth of smoking is as vital as ever, with over 15.1% of Americans frequently using tobacco products, and through Tobacare, relief is possible. With the assistance of the Conrad Challenge, we hope to turn Tobacare from a concept into a reality, and to reach out to the millions of smokers who are experiencing the effects of aging. Thank you.
Thank you for staying tuned and listening to our presentations. We hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Bye. 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 Bye.